Yeah. Ceremonial and civic laws, yeah. those are to be abolished. They're not forever. Only yeah. the moral laws for the do not kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what we understand, we have this in our tradition, as many people like to point out. We also understand this is not all time. Unfortunately, Islam's tell us stopped when Muhammad died. So you can't move forward. You can't move forward to further your religion. Stay there. Mm. Tell us. I'm mm. sorry to say, it's practically dead in the waters. But how do you explain then all the school of thoughts that uh, spring out after, the, way after the, the the life of the Prophet? The, the Hanbalis, you know, the... the, yeah. the How do I explain it? So, I mean, the, the tradition continues, it evolves, it yeah. crystallizes. No, it, doesn't, it doesn't evolve to move forward, it, it evolves to look back at the Salaf al-Salim. So this idea... I mean, that's one that's one uh, mode, no, how no, to no, engage. No, no. Even the Ashaira and the Maturidis, they themselves will claim they are upon the way of who? The Salaf, correct? Yeah, yeah, but... So but no, 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 I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah. I'm saying that's just half of the story. No, no. any Sunni who were to say they don't follow the Salaf al-Salim... No, no. Again, I'm not saying you're not supposed to follow this, the Salaf. However, yeah. as uh, scholars are, yeah. they engage with the contemporary world that they are in. Because, like you said, the Asharis at one point didn't exist. Yeah. They came into existence yeah. due to a reaction. Uh, Abu Musa al -Ashari. Yeah, so it's a reaction to the philosophical inf influx that is coming into the region. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, so there is clearly... You know, the I, is a terrible at philosophy, though. Do you reckon? Co-eternal attributes. No, no, no. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it's Polytheism their way. Is what it is. It's their way of it's, trying it's to Polytheism. explain... Trying to explain... Well, it depends how you understood it. It's, I define it's, anything that creates a real distinction with God that is not God yeah. as a polytheism, because they are necessary, eternal, and not God. Polytheism. Yeah. It oh, well, so it depends how you, you interpret that. But Unless you want to take Ghazali's approach. Yeah, Ghazali's approach is quite interesting, I find. Ghazali's not so good either. Yeah, fair enough. But um, so all of this, yeah, and then you say, well, you know what? I kind of like the idea of God being like one and just one only. And, God is like, one. and then you were like, okay, now I'm going to become Christian. And I'm also going to accept that Jesus is God. Amen. Wow. Yeah, that's, a, that's a bit like... Fully man, fully God. No, but that's really, I don't know, you're, you're attracted to like divine simplicity yeah. and then divine you, and then, the but how is it the Trinity if, you're, if, if you have issues with uh, the, the Ashari's uh, uh, the philosophy? The Ashari said the Ashari's are not God. Yeah. So we say the three persons are distinct, yeah. but still all yeah. materially identical to the same essence. Yeah. They're yeah. denying that. Yeah. They're distinct and they are not God. Well, the Ashari's don't. Uh, necessarily deny that those attributes aren't God, you know, it's just... Uh, so they are God, but they're separate from God? No, or? it's, no, they are... That's even worse, you just said there are 99 other than God, God. No, no, but that's oh. not, no, that's, but that's not how it's understood. Oh. The way it's understood is that God has attributes and names, you know. Yeah, and you guys and, understand and, that. And, and, but, that understanding. But, but that has nothing to do with the essence of God. No, These no, are no, like, I agree, but what we need to understand is if something is true, truth doesn't contradict truth. But I find Islam to be entirely anti-metaphysical. I believe it's anti-metaphysical. Anti-metaphysical. And especially the Athari creed. I find it to be the most anti-metaphysical mm -hmm. creed in all of existence. And uh, can you explain why? Because I find that quite interesting. That oh statement. yeah, so for example, when we look at metaphysics, when we look at a necessary thing of an essence, we look at what something would have to have and without that thing it would not be. Yeah. Let me ask you, if God didn't have hands, would he still be God? Well God doesn't have hands in the way that what we understood. The Athari has two right hands. Yeah, but even them. And I don't fully agree with the idea of if bad, this idea of like going beyond if bad, meaning going beyond uh, affirming. Because they, they are still affirm what the text says here. Two they, because they say the ma'ana, they say the, the yeah. But you understand to do tough read and ma'ana breaks the third law of logic, yeah, right? Yeah. So they, they, so that's where I kind of disagree with them. However, even with the Atharis, mm -hmm. they uh, don't claim to know exactly what the hand is. They say the, the hand. Problem. They say the hand is the hand. Exactly. So you make the statement non-cognitive. The statement derives no real meaning. No, but it's not like that because uh, yeah. if if so you let me ask you something. No, if, just before you say that, right? Uh, because if you think of Islamic theology yeah. in particular, Athari in Ashari, it's a negative theology. I understand that. Right? Meaning, it's not about describing God. It's about how this what God describes not to be. Term negative theology. Wrong. Negative theology. No, you're using it wrong. no, no, that's what that, that's no, what negative theology so means. Negative theology is what they ascribe to people like Ibn Sina, who they call Tatil, rejectors of actual or deniers. So no, no, no. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So negative theology, in its proper terminology, means that when you deny something of God, you're denying what He is not. Yeah. No, no. 
Yeah, you're that's affirming what's in the Quran. So that's not a negative. Deal. No, that's no. A positive theology of no. affirmation. So no. you got that wrong. Yeah, that, no, no, no. God explains who he is. Yeah, so that's a positive theology. No, no. By explaining who he is, we know who he is and not. How do you know that? Because he says, I am this, therefore I'm not that. And also, God does say in the Quran, where he uh, uh, linguistically uh, denies certain attributes about him. Right? For example, God says, I'm not free, I'm one. Yeah, but what did right? he say? He's saying, I am just one God. Yeah. Now we ask you, why doesn't Allah understand the Trinity? Because the Trinity is one God, and that's yeah. been clearly defined for all of Christian history. So your God doesn't, your God doesn't even seem to understand the Akidah he's attacking. Isn't that a problem? I mean, it's a good way of, I mean, this is like post-rationalization of Christians to look at Christianity and say, well, in reality, it is one God. However, yeah. the Quran calls many people polytheists, never yeah. the Christians. Though. Why is that? Why does the Quran never call us polytheists? Uh, I mean, attacks like you, you uh, affirm, attack the theology. It attacks it falsely. Yeah. It do, Allah yeah. doesn't seem to understand what Christians yeah. believe. Yeah. Do you know how bad that is? No, no. What, what do you mean? Wake up, man. What, what do you mean that Allah doesn't understand? He doesn't what understand. He thinks we're saying it tackles three the words. most central. Yeah, because don't believe that. no, but till this day, people have these arguments about God being free. Yeah, because it's it's not just. Uh, first of all, but it's not. Says, he doesn't just say don't say I'm three, he says because I am one God. No, no, but We're hold on. denying he's one God. No, no. So he's made a misstatement on no, Christians' No, 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 but hold on. Then look at this. The Muslims have understood it that way. Some of the Christians understand it that way. And the Jews, the Jewish people, believe that Christians are polytheists as well because of that. So the thing is with Christianity, to begin with, there is not one way to understand Christianity to begin with. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? I follow the Holy One. I You're convinced the by a position. Yes, I understand. No, I follow the Catholic Church. You follow the Catholic yes, Church. The Catholic okay, church. but that's there's also... One, there's, so there's one correct position. No, but, communion with Rome. No, no, but there's also an Anglican Church. That's the heretics. Part. I understand that you believe they're heretics. So I don't care. However, in the grand schemes of things, as an outsider, to be objective, I have to look at Christianity yeah. so for what it is. For what it is. I believe. Now, I believe anyone that is not in communion with Rome is a schismatic heretic. That's what I'm coming to you, Akhi. I'm saying to you, right? Yo, yo, but what about the Ahmadis? Though? Yeah. Right? Ridiculous, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're a Sunni Muslim. Yeah. yeah. So why would we address Ahmadis? We wouldn't, right? I personally, if you ask me in front of the cameras, I wouldn't pass judgment on Ahmadis. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. So I wouldn't personally. You. Anyone who believes there's another prophet after Muhammad, are they kuffar? Yes. Okay, so the Ahmadi yeah. is a kuffar. I mean, if that's what Ahmadi believes, that's, that's not what Ahmadi believes. There's a Ghulam Ahmad. But, but, but I would say this. I would say this. If I come to you and say, oh, but these guys think there's another prophet, so. No, but, but Ahmadi ah ah is a very extreme, a very extreme yeah, example. And Anglicans are also extreme heretics. How is that extreme? Because they're founded by King Henry, and you guys yeah. have to go on about King James Bible. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. a mocker. How can a king get involved? Yeah. And then you're telling yeah. us we should follow yeah. a church founded by a king. Irony. But where's the irony? The, irony. the Council of Nasir is literally seated and 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 yeah. and no, supervised no, yeah. by a, 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 a emperor. It wasn't supervised by an emperor. That's false. What do you mean? He he was part of the council. No. So he called a council because a particular bishop called Arius who was spouting heresy. The same thing you believe today. Jesus is just a prophet. They came and they told him, you have lost your marbles, mate. That's what happens. And Constantine organized is it even, it, So it's even within your history that there's certain people who believe that? Yeah, heretics, yeah, good job. Listen. I can show you people in You said king, you, you, you're opposed by a king. An emperor literally was... Okay. Uh, partook in that very thing that... He didn't partake. He didn't make arguments, he didn't go there... Bro, to if, if, I'm, if I'm your authority... Have you read the Acts of the Council? Have you actually read it? I, I've read about it a very long time, a very long time ago. Any place very long time ago. Does Constantine himself have any input on the doctrine given? I'm not saying that he has any doctrine in it. I'm not saying... But King Harry, King Harry or even King James don't have necessary doctrines pushed agree, into. They commission these things. No, no. So King James commissioned the Bible we yeah. agree, from shoddy manuscripts from yeah. the 13th century, yeah. mad Greek manuscripts yeah. we don't take from that. Yeah. Now, King Henry VIII founded his own church so he may have a divorce. Yeah. This is corruption. This yeah. is blatant heresy. Yeah. If you come to me, if I come to you and say, look, bro, what about the Alawites? The Alawites yeah. believe Muhammad Ali and Salman al-Farisi were gods. They believe but, Jesus was but, God. but how are the Anglicans theologically heretics? What is so wrong about them? Okay, so when we go to the Council of Ephesus, Acts 3, I mean, it's quite clear that the St. Peter was the 
pillar of faith and head of the church. And yeah. this role was then occupied by his successors at the time, Pope Polistine. Yeah. So the Council of Ephesus makes clear, is anyone not in communion with Rome, yeah. is a heretic who is schismatic from the pillar of the faith and head of the church. Irenaeus wrote a whole book on uh, the, the, the Irenaeus, uh, yeah. second century. Irenaeus. Yeah. He wrote a whole book on like... Uh, um, Do you know who St. Irenaeus' teacher was? Uh, Apostle John. Well, yeah, there's some some of some people say that. So yeah. we also know who St. Mark was as well. Yeah. Born in uh, Siena. Yeah. We know his mother, we know his yeah. father, and we know so, his bishop, Rick yeah. Alexander. So you guys talk about yeah. Hadith. Our yeah. narration for Jesus yeah. is Jesus Mark. Jesus Mark. One straight line. Well, I mean, uh, I've never heard this one before, but yeah. Uh, it's true. If yeah. you go to the Coptic papacy, yeah. they have an unbroken chain of transmission from the yeah, first yeah, Bishop yeah. of Alexandria, yeah. St. Mark, yeah. to today. <coughs> okay, so I, I, we speak, you said heretics, yeah. and the way as, uh, Iranians describes heretics is because of the certain things that believe about Jesus yeah. and Jesus' uh, personhood. Yeah. Uh, and not necessarily uh, who the, the head of the church yeah. is, right? Because according to that, Hold on. may I finish? I make a negative inference, fallacy. No, 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 I'm not. You, no. can, you can correct me afterwards because I waited for you to correct you. Um, because if that's the case, James, who was uh, the head of the Council of Jerusalem, had also major issues with Paul. If it's, uh, it's, it's, if it's to do with authority and, and, and who is an authority and who's, who's to follow, yeah. I mean, that we have issues there as well. I'm specifically talking about theology when I say heretics. That's the way I understood it. Okay. I, I believe that's how the early Christians understood okay. it too. That's great. So just because someone said something, you're now going to have to try and imply a negative inference. So then that's called a fallacious negative inference fallacy. Yeah. So when you try to imply just because a positive statement about heretics has been made, it implies that there's no other inferences to be made or the negative that this does not then include X. That's a fall fallacy. No, no, we, we're going to have to uh, speak human language. I, you, you have yeah, to. I, I use human language, the language of logic. So logic no, 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 we don't want to do logic. I want to understand. Not do, I, I want to, if we're not going to do logic, no. I want to step out. We've been doing logic the entire time. No, no, we what? always have to do logic. For truth, yeah, there must be logic. We've been doing logic the entire time. Good, the what I'm explicit. saying is, yeah. you don't have to list the formula here. Tell me exactly what I, where I did the negative inference. Yeah, so you're trying to imply because it only talks about heretics in a theological way, it does not then include those who do not follow the church. No! I'm saying if a church has a doctrine, yeah. then because what I want to establish is that you are saying, because I said, look, there's many, many different Christian denominations yeah, and there's different, different ways on how they understand the book, the, yeah, the very same book. Wrong. Yeah. Now I understand that you're convinced yeah. and you have conviction by your thing, but it does not mean that uh, but perhaps, and that doesn't mean that you now are going to exclude every single one of them. Because then that means you exclude him, he's not Catholic. He needs to come home to Rome. Yeah. I mean, you're a Christian yourself, you're not Catholic. Just to make him happy. I'm just asking you. you no, I'm asking you, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Let me just tell you something, please. Let me just tell you something. You, my brother, come home to Rome. Jesus loves you. There you go. He can be happy now. He can be happy now. There you go. W what I want to illustrate, what I'm trying to display is that there yeah, yeah. is differences on how to understand scripture. As and there's always too. going to be. There's and the same applies to Islam, so what's the correct? Point we're uh, going towards it. Huh? What's the point we're actually going towards? No, the point I was trying to make was that you early on were saying uh, that I don't even know because you see this happens when we talk. But there was a point I was trying to make. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I don't know where yeah. we're. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Yeah, where yeah. We're no, but I, I, it's just I find it fascinating that because obviously the intelligence that you have is you're very quick. I don't know. Have you been studying Christianity prior yeah, to this? Man. Yeah, you have. Really. Oh, so been, uh, it was an ongoing study. I've been around Christians for a long time. Very so whilst you were Muslim, you were still studying Christianity yeah. as well. Okay, fair enough. Well, you. The problem was for me is the Quran makes his, uh, historical claims, but it's chained yeah, exactly. to those historical people. It's mashhul. Yeah. No one knows how Muhammad is connected to Jesus. No one knows how yeah. Muhammad is connected yeah. to Moses. Yeah. Yeah. But the chain of prophets is in the Bible, right? From Adam all the way through to generations of prophets. So the chain but, is there. But, but you guys chain to the, any of those people is mashhul, unknown. So what do we do in Islam when the chain is mashhul? We reject it. So the but, Quran, Muhammad is mashhul. We reject it. But then you also have to reject Jesus. No. When Jesus in Jerusalem, when he, when he in, in the Gospel of John, yeah. he's walking around Jerusalem. Yeah. No one, the Pharisees don't know who he is. That the comment. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't say no one knows. No, no, Muhammad. but I, I will quote you. I said his chain is no, no, unknown. No, no, I will quote a verse. Jesus' chain is not unknown. I will quote a verse. I will quote oh. a verse where they will they they question him. They question him. Yeah. 
yeah. and they asked him, they say, are you of Moses in the Gospel of John? Are you, is this what Moses brought forth? Meaning, they weren't sure who he was, but the, the category to define whether he was truthful was the teaching that he was bringing, right? And this yeah. is why Jesus says in the Bible, I have not come to abolish the law. Yes, why is he saying that? Because he has to yeah. make... So he's, the of the law is he's, filled, he's, he's proven his point. Yeah. Well, the point so it doesn't mean that the, 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 the lineage no, no, proves you're anything. Getting, you're not getting it. Once again, okay. Adam through to Jesus, yeah. chains in the Bible, you know, all these people and the connection through to each other. Now, Muhammad comes out of nowhere with a merge hole. No, he doesn't. Unknown he doesn't. He's, he's unknown an Ishmaelite. <laughs> Says who? Do you have any no, actual no, no, but other than yes, historically the Arabs so have always ask. been known to be Ishmaelites. So they claim? No, it's not claim. It's known. It's, it's known. It's not. It's not. It's in the Bible. Sure. It's in the Bible. Sure. It's in the Bible. When Ismail and 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 Hagar go yeah, go go, go to Paran. My brother, it's a known thing. No, no, I don't care it's, what it's, you it's, think, you know, no, it's not, it's not about, no, 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 it's not about that, it's not about that, no, it's not about that, it's not about that, it's Isn't about, no, it's, an, it's, it's axiomatic, no it's axiomatic, my no, bro, no, it's axiomatic, no, of course, it's, it's axiomatic, no, the it's same way the Jewish, course. it is axiomatic, the same way Jewish people know that they come from, uh, from Jacob, they have the ancestry, yeah, uh, based upon, according to what? Where are the outside uh, sources? Oh, well, you can get multiple Jewish sources. I'm not no, particular. Jewish sources, exactly. Oh, yeah. So, we're the in the same is, boat. The is, I'm, not the, saying, yeah, but I'm not talking about Jewish sources. I'm not saying, I, why, why someone... I'm not saying that. I'm saying to, no. you, I'm saying to you, how do you actually know that's true? I told you because, historically, the way Jewish people and the Arabs have, uh, cool. have understood each other and the text and they've lived together, they have known to be... Yeah of the same lineage to this day so that's what people say can you demonstrate what do you mean demonstrate i've demonstrated I mean, it's, Burhan, it's Burhan historical demonstration this is this is this is you know, been seen Qatar, no, Burhan, no, no listen listen this is the, the demonstration that you're looking for me i'm sure that you can't provide yourself okay what do i need to provide the demonstration you're saying the lineage is is, is written in the Matthew? book it's, it's, it's Matthew chapter one. Yeah, but it's, this is a secular argument. You're arguing back to the book th that you well, believe in. You argue positively for the book. That's fine. I can no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying the same way. No, no, the same way. I'm the same. The sa in a circular, the same no, way. I'm, it might I'm argue. making a circular. I'll argue for it. Isaiah 48 from 53 is the most clear prophecy of the coming of the Messiah. What did it say in Isaiah 53? And by your bruises we shall be healed. And How the punishment can you? that made us whole fell upon him. And if he okay. gives his life as a payment for sin. He will justify many. So this is a prophecy 800 years yeah. before Christ about yeah. to be found in the Dead Sea Scrolls 400 years before Christ. So this serves as our basis of evidence for the book being from God because only God can make such a prophecy. So now long it's no longer circular. I've given you a logical argument for It is my circular. Book. No, it's not. Because the Christians, the early Christians, weren't some different sect or whatever. They believed... They were Catholic. No, the early Christians were Jews Catholic. from Jerusalem. Yeah. yeah, they were Jews from Jerusalem. And in Acts, they were first Christians in Antioch. Okay, yeah. So the, the, the early, the, especially the, 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 the Christians or the, the early uh, Christians that were with Jesus, and that generation that comes after yeah, with Jesus, Mark, the they Mark, were, and the they of had Jesus books prior, they, look, they had books and laws prior to Jesus. So okay. therefore, the Bible, when it's compiled, is compiled as an, a, an entire document, yeah. right? So therefore, it is a circular argument because you're going back no. to the very same document. No. So when I say to you, what do you mean no? no. I don't know if you've studied logic, but when, when someone offers a positive argument from the text that gives it some truth value, that it made a prophecy that is true, that validates something in the book as true. And it it as doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm very, no, no, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. That's fine. Wait, wait, can, can I, I no, can I, may I just, may I just cause, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that doesn't make sense to me because all I'm saying to you is very simple okay. for, the, for the viewers watching, very yeah, simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am saying this Baba is saying to me, where's the proof? I say the proof of uh, Muhammad being uh, an Ishmaelite is that it's oral tradition. This is something that's passed down so much that even outsiders, okay, outsiders who are not part of the, the Ishmaelite tribes know that this tribe is descending of, uh, of Ismail. So the other thing is this, uh, what I'm saying to him is that now if you were to pro provide proof for Jesus' lineage, you will find, you will find it within the Bible. Therefore, 
if you can't provide, because he's asking for proof, I'm saying, well, the same way you're finding the evidence for Jesus' lineage in the book, I'm saying I'm finding the evidence for pro the, the Prophet Muhammad's lineage within our traditions. It's not in your Quran, no? But w w why is the Quran, why does it have to be in the Quran? Because I you... Say it did. I said it no, no. No, but that's what I'm trying to say. What, well, I'm not comparing the Quran to the Bible either. I'm just saying, in terms of tradition and how tradition is preserved, yeah, tradition we have out of a clear context. What do you mean? Jewish religion it emerges from the clear, consistent uh, development of revelation. Um, no, no, of no. That's that's gaps. Your religion is mashul. That is ga no, no. That's gaps between Jesus and Moses. What are you talking about? Dude, there's no gaps. The whole. Wait, wait. Do you think the Bible starts in the Torah and then we just get to the gospel? No, I'm saying no. You look, bro. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Have patience. Let's have this conversation. I'm saying, you said context, right? You said context. You said context. You said out of context. I am talking out of context. I'm talking about the Jerusalem context. The Jerusalem criteria. This is it's a thing in, his, in history where they look at Jesus' language and the way Jesus lived and 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 and. Um, if you can afford me some respect. Sorry, that's my yeah. Way, isn't it? yeah. So you said context. Yeah. I'm saying within the context of Jesus and within his lifetime, yeah. there is no uh, direct link that the people are making with Jesus and the lineage of the prophets. Okay, that's cool. Now, if I know. No, hold on. Before you said it's cool, do you acknowledge that? Yeah, yeah, so that, that's where the gap is. That's no, the gap that I'm talking about, there's contextually. Not a gap. There's not a gap. Okay. You're, You're just telling me... I'm not talking about the Bible. The, 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 yeah. You're telling me just because these people don't connect it... Okay, if I see you... They're the children of Israel. Hold on, hold on. It's not just people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. If I know you and I don't know your mother, yeah. and I see your mother and I don't connect you two, does that mean anything about the truth of the proposition? No, no, that's this is bad. So it's a fast no, comparison, no, no, false, false comparison. It's not. It's false comparison. My The example that I'm saying is that I am part of a tribe, yeah. okay, and the tribe has a leader, yeah. and that leader, before him there was other people, and other people, like it goes back, that's a lineage. Yeah. Now, an outsider comes from the tribe, we don't know who this person is, but claims to be from the same lineage. Yeah. So that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so it's not that it's because those particular people don't know who he is, it means he's not from that tribe? It's no, according but... According to you, because remember, your argument's going to cut yourself. Yeah. Even according to your belief, where is Jesus from? He, well, he's from uh, from the Israelites. Thank you. Yeah. So even your tradition can admit it. Thank you. No, no, but, but what I'm saying is, the reason why I believe that is the reason why I believe that the Prophet Muhammad is from the Ishmaelites. That's why the argument is not circular. What? But if you can't yeah. accuse my argument of being circular. Yeah. No, circular. what I'm saying is, I'm not, I'm not talking about the prophecy, I'm not talking that... I'm saying, if I'm saying, for example, right, my dad owns, my, my dad owns whatever, my, my dad owns this plot of land, yeah, and the court specifically asked for a corroborating evidence, right, corroborating evidence that is outside of what I can provide, meaning my dad wrote something on the paper saying this land belongs to me, yeah, yeah? but I need, I, need, I need to register from like the council to corroborate what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. This, wait, wait, so let, let yeah. me get straight. His yeah. argument is the Old Testament makes specific prophecies yeah. about yeah. the new yeah. couldn't be explained outside of divine revelation. Okay. But no, but you 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 can't separate the two. You can't separate the Old Testament. You can't separate the Old Testament and the New Testament. Why? You have manuscripts of the Old Testament. No, no, but you have literally the book there within you. So you're just inheriting an heritage that already exists and then, and then you're infusing yourself in there and saying... if the Old Testament comes before the New, right? And let's say the Old Testament said, in a thousand years, a man is going to be crucified, die, for the sins of many. And it makes very specific prophecy. Let's just say he's right about that, about the Old Testament. No, but you... But if the Old Testament does yeah. say that, yeah. then it's not just, oh, it's one book. Yeah, yeah but hold on, what... No, but hold, what, hold on, one thing, one thing... Yeah, but hold on. What one thing you seem to misunderstand is that when you look into the Old Testament and you read your Christian interpretation into it, that's that's a separate issue. Because if if no no, but if you if you read, if you go to old, if you go to Jewish people who were preserving this book, they're not going to read their interpretation of the, the things yeah, in the Bible. They're saying, hold on, they won't read. No 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 no, hold on hold on. I'm saying I'm. No no no, hold on hold on hold on hold on. We we in the twenty. 21st century right now we are christians you you're christians i'm muslim there's, there's jewish people there's jewish people if they go to the old testament 
and most of I've seen many debates here where Christians and Jews would debate about certain prophecies yeah, and, and they would and hold on hold on let me finish hold on hold on let me finish and they would say to Christian this is not what this means okay therefore I'm saying to you that the the book it, you've compiled the book and you've inherited a tradition and then you're reading into that tradition okay, so that's yeah, this is that, not to do about okay that's similar to if you were saying Muhammad is prophesied in Deuteronomy 18 and then well, I didn't said, I didn't say that wait, no, but I'm, I'm yeah. just giving you a counter example yeah. then Ananda said well Christians and Muslims disagree about the interpretation mm -hmm. therefore he couldn't possibly be in, in there that's not how that works it's like we have to say okay whose interpretation is more parsimonious with what the text is exactly. saying exactly. yeah exactly. yeah yeah, yeah but I'm sorry Sorry, I'm sorry. This, this wait, wait. is. Otherwise, yeah. you wouldn't be able to read any religious text and get any meaning from yeah. it. Literally. Of course, of course, you would get meaning from it. This is exactly. This is literally. This is literally why in the 19th century, um, the idea of uh, text. What's it called? Um, and uh, what's the other one? Inter uh, interpretation. Um, exegesis. Exegesis. And uh, what's the other one? Hermeneutics. Hermeneutics. This is precisely. <laughs> mashallah, all of we we go through all of them. <laughs> Hermeneutics, right? Um, the, the, the Germans come up with this idea of like, okay, how do we interpret this text? How yeah. do we understand this text? Because precisely with ancient text, there's always going to be different uh, opinions and perspectives on, on, on things. So therefore, I'm saying from the Christian perspective, if we say it from the Christian perspective, it is a book that you're inheriting that is within the same tradition that you believe Jesus is from. Yeah, but yeah. Wait, basically, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's not a separate Wait, text. The reason why I don't understand your criticism, there's Messianic Jews. They read the Old Testament. What is my criticism? Your criticism is saying, um, from what I understood, you about is you basically that? saying, okay, when you're a Christian, you read the Old Testament with a Christian lens, and yeah. then you compare the Old Testament to the New Testament, and then you then say that the New Testament is a completion of the of the Old Testament. But there's Messianic Jews, there's yeah. people within yeah. the Jewish tradition yeah. that understand the Old Testament yeah. to be compliant with the New Testament. Yeah. So what we say is, under the Christian interpretation, okay, our view, including the Messianic Jews, yeah. is far more parsimonious yeah. than the, uh, the Jewish view. Yeah. And then we say, okay, then our view is correct yeah. there. But you, yeah. uh, you're, you're giving criticisms on silence. You're not really Okay, so you, the sense from, from Ishmael, Right? And he says, but where's the evidence for it? I said, it's, with, it's within our tradition. It's within the text, it's within our tradition. And then he said, and I asked him, where's your evidence for Jesus' lineage? He says, it's within the text. I said, look, if that's the case, then we're both in the same boat. And that's the argument I, I that I was making. I don't think you're in the same boat because your tradition yeah. presupposes the pre-existence and the, uh, the accuracy of our tradition. No, no, this is... Our tradition no, doesn't no. presuppose the accuracy of yours. No. Our tradition doesn't no, no, rely this, on yours. Okay, this is a different argument. I'm just saying, simply saying that circular argument, he meaning you're relying, in, in order to prove something, relying on the text that you abide by. Okay, that's what circular argument is, right? You're, you're, you're relying on a text that uh, is not uh, outside of... Of, of the evidence that you can pr provide, right? That's what yeah. you, you, so that's that's what we were arguing initially. Yeah, yeah. initially. The, the problem is, yeah. if someone comes up to you and says, okay, you believe that Muhammad is a Hishmanite, yeah. can you give me the evidence for that? Yeah. And then you say, okay, how can you give me the evidence of your Jesus? I don't see- No, no, I gave him evidence. I said, one, there's that, two. That's not yeah. evidence though, right? What? That's not evidence. What, what do you mean? If you say that Muhammad, came from the Ishmaelites because of what Muhammad or the Ibn's or I don't I don't know the Islamic yeah. theology. Yeah. But whatever the Islamic theology is, yeah. uh, told you. Yeah. Right? No but exactly. So now you yeah. understand each other. Uh -huh. Then I say the exact same thing applies to Jesus. It cannot apply. And it does. Because right. everything that you know about Jesus and his lineage is within the text that yeah. you believe in. So it's the yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah. But what what's the distinction between the Christians and the Jews? What, there's no distinction. If you're speaking about the, uh, no, if, if you if you're talking about the early Christians, because we talk about Jesus, right? Yes. The early Christians were Jewish. Mm -hmm. They were they they were abiding by the law. They you know they yeah. kept Sabbath and, and did all of these things. And when they took the genealogy from David yeah. to, to to explain Jesus beyond yeah. me in the yeah. Gospel of Matthew, yeah. right? They yeah. took from another religion, yeah. from another tradition. No, sorry. it was not another tradition. The Jewish tradition. It, it literally was not a love tradition. This is why Jesus comes because there's an accusation being made against Jesus. I'm talking about the Old Testament. No, I'm saying to you, look, 
that's an accusation being made against Jesus. Meaning, some of the Pharisees are perceiving Jesus as an outsider who has come to corrupt the law and the tradition. Therefore, Jesus, then Jesus says, look, I have not come to what? Yeah, to that doesn't yeah. mean he was not Jewish. No, I'm saying he is clearly seeing himself as part of the tradition already. No, so I'm not talking about that. No, no, there no. is no separation. Look. Jesus, there's no separation. Jesus is a fulfillment yeah. of the tradition. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So therefore there's no separation. Okay. The definition of a tradition yeah. is a transmission yeah. of cultural laws yes. yeah. and ceremonial yeah. acts. Yeah. It's yeah. a transmission. Yeah. The Christian tradition is obviously different from the Jewish tradition. Yeah, it moves but the Christian, into, but yeah. the Christian moral law yeah. is a fulfillment of the Jewish moral yeah. law. Yeah. That's a that's the difference. No. So I'm, I'm, yes, it is a different no, tradition. No, but hold on. We're talking about the Prophet Muhammad and his claim, and we're talking about Jesus of this claim. Okay, I'm not so talking about post post Paul. I don't I'm not talking about yeah, what happened yeah, to the yeah, tradition. What so, I'm telling you, what yeah. I'm telling you is that we derive the genealogy of Jesus from a prior tradition and that's what that's what we got. But how can it be a prior tradition if the very person who claims to be of the tradition affirms that he's part of the tradition also the people who encounter him see him as uh, as a continuation of the tradition. Yeah, yeah. it's a continuation. Yeah, but a continuation. Law. No, no not just no. Law. Jews don't take no, Eucharist. No, not just the moral law. As in who he is. I'm talking about who yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, he is Jewish. Yeah. And so, and this is what we're talking about. We're talking but about the lineage. The thing, here's the thing. Jews that do not believe in Messiah, Jews that do not believe uh, in... Uh, in that interpretation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those right? interpretations. Understood that he's the Messiah, some of them, and yeah. became Messianic Jews that started yeah. following his law. Yeah, some of them. So we don't depend on the Jews to, this, uh, to explain to us our tradition. We already have... You do. Jews. Of course you do. Listen, we don't depend on the Jews. Yeah. We don't depend on the Jews. What we have is a tradition. Yeah. Right? Our tradition does not depend on Judaism for its truth. Judaism is a religion predicated on the tradition. Yeah. Right? So now, because Christianity will still be Christianity without flipping. No, but what, what you don't seem to understand is Christianity, Christianity it becomes. Yeah, in a I passage agree. of time, it becomes. Look, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. Christianity is not contingent yeah. on something external to it for its truth. Of course. You, you so quote, your religion is. That's no, but, the no, but so is Christianity. Why are you quoting, why are you quoting, why are you quoting passages from the, from the Old Testament then? What why do you mean? You, no, but we why? Believe, no, why? If you're saying it's not contingent up, up, up on something else, why don't because you just stick to the the, the 66 what did, books? What did he say? Paul? What did he say before this? What, before uh, my statement, you said Christ is the fulfillment of the law. Yes. Yeah. He's, you answered so, your own question. Yeah. No, but then he, if he's a fulfillment of the law, in order to fulfill anything, there has to be something prior to it. So, it, so the 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 necessity yes. is there. Yes. Okay. And then and then guess what? Guess what? What's prior to it is what. Uh, the Jewish tradition, right? The yeah, Jewish tradition, yeah. right? And what is there? An intermediate link between the Jewish tradition and the Christian tradition. When someone asks you, yeah. when someone asks you, what is the evidence for the Muhammad or whatnot? They're asking for an intermediate link, link yeah, but between Christianity and Islam. But there isn't any. The, no, but if you if you're using that criteria, yeah. then there isn't one for Jesus either. Does it want for Jesus? Make sense. No, it isn't. It I just, isn't. You just said you just said with your own mouth that yeah. Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. No, but when Unless I you're a Jew. no, no, but the reason why I'm I'm like that because I'm a bit more tolerant and I understand history quite. The reason let, let me let me finish. Yeah, it. Like the reason why I say this is because I'm more tolerant mm -hmm. and I'm a bit more elastic on the way I understand history. Mm -hmm. Okay, but my understanding of history is slightly different. I don't have this cut through approach to history because I know that's not how history works. D Jesus Christ. For 30 years plus is unknown, okay, to most of the people. And he comes into Jerusalem because Jerusalem is the center of the spirituality of the Jewish people, of the children of Israel. And he comes in as an unknown person. And the reason why he's unknown is because the direct link between him between him and Moses and what, whatever was in between isn't necessarily established. So Jesus has to establish himself and this is why he has these miracles. The miracles are there to prove his claims. Yeah. So, therefore, 
on a uh, clinical level, if you want to be very clinical, then you will have to say, well, if I look at Jesus' trajectory, he also doesn't have a direct link per se in that way, other than being Jewish. His way of convincing the, the children of Israel is in various ways. It's not just through lineage. It's through uh, miracles. For some people, according to the Christian, it's the crucifixion, right? And various of things. So that's the point I'm trying to make. So there is also a, a gap if you want to be clinical then, you see? Because, because if you look at Jewish history in particular, you will find there are sometimes thousands of years of nothing until another prophet comes in. But they just uphold things via oral tradition. Yeah, but here's the thing. You're forgetting one thing. Yeah. You're forgetting that when we're trying to look at historical evidence and the epistemic accuracy of things, we take into factor parsimony, right? Yeah. So a parsimony. Parsimony, parsimony. So for example, let's say there's a dog here and a dog box. You're, you're not gonna think, okay, what if it was a cat that barked? What if it was a bird that barked? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. They're gonna say it's probably a dog that barked because the dog is the one associated with barking normally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you look and then you see it's a dog. Yeah. That's the principle of parsimony. That's the simplest explanation. Yeah. And the simplest explanation is most likely to be the right explanation. Jesus has tons and tons and tons of secular and Christian and Judaistic evidence of existing. Yeah. Your religion I don't, says he exists. Yeah, I don't deny that at all. He exists. How does he exist? The genealogical accounts and the historical accounts say he existed as a Jew in yeah. this in this area, mm -hmm. crucified whatnot. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. If someone comes to you, a Christian comes to you, what it asks is for a link, you're saying you're saying you cannot ask me for a link if you do not have a link to Jesus. No, no, I'm not saying that. But you're saying I'm not then what are you saying? Yeah, I'm saying remember I said the way I understand history is that the amalgamation of tradition and way the way people pass down things is not always in a book. It's not always written down, okay? It's not this yeah, is not yeah. this is not how way we, we So where's the the other ones? Yeah. Where's the oral tradition? Where's the any of them? We're not just asking yeah. for the book. Yeah. Right? What, yeah. what we're saying is, okay, we have this whole parsimonious view yeah. where Jesus definitely existed. Yeah. Mama said he existed, yeah. Christians say he existed, Messianic Jews yeah. and Jews say he existed, yes. Yeah. Everybody has different interpretations. Yeah. So our son needs to say he didn't die, God yeah. replaced. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah. Definitely existed in this yeah. in this way across yeah. all these various religions, yeah. <coughs> and so we have a link. No, nobody's gonna deny it. Nobody's gonna deny the link between them and the Jews because he was a Jew. That's a necessary link. That's like me. You're, yeah. you're an African. Yeah. Uh, let's just say yeah. you're African, for example. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nigerian. Yeah. I'm Nigerian, and I'm here, and I preach to everybody, and then I die, and then people say, "Oh, how do you know he was uh, yeah. this?" Bro, I'm Nigerian. I'm but, gonna have a link to Nigeria. Of course, but, but just remember, there's a lot of like we. I don't know if you know about this, but back in the day, there's a lot of Africans. Uh -huh. They'll be like, "Oh, back home, I'm a king," because in in in, in Congo or Nigeria, there's people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but 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 the thing is, the Africans yeah. still exist uh, biologically yeah. and. Uh, what do they call it? Anthropomorphically, the way that he says he exists. The Jesus biologically, anthropomorphically existed as yeah. a Jewish man. Because yeah. we're asking yeah. for the link of yours yeah. with all the rest, the way that we have a link with ours and all yeah, the rest. Yeah. Is yours as parsimonious as the Christian one? I believe so. I believe so. We have we have in our tradition also a whole lineage of the Prophet Muhammad that goes all the way back to Ismail. We have it. The Arabs have it. They had it for hundreds of hundreds is of years. Is there a link between that and the uh, Jewish account? What well, Ishmael, the, Ishmael, the, Ishmael, literally. What do you call it? The literally. Christian account, since you affirm that Jesus Christ was a Jew? Well, we bypass the Christians in this regards and we say the Jewish people, the, the Jewish people themselves and the Muslims, for a very long time, hey, for a very long time, knew, this, this man knows about this, he's a bit older, for a very long time, knew that the Arabs of a particular stock are descendants of Ishmael. Now, just going back, I am more interested in contextual, contextualizing Jesus Christ, because I think this is the best way we can really have a good understanding on what happened to him and who he was. Um, if you look at Jesus contextually, in Jerusalem, despite being Jew, that was not enough to claim 
what he, um, that he was uh, uh, within the lineage of David and Solomon and 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 the sons of yeah. Kedar, yeah. If you look at yeah. him, it goes back to him, Ishmael. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give so the, so this but, I, yeah. But but what you said doesn't make sense because yeah. you know who Jacob is, right? Yeah. Jacob is Israel himself. Yeah. David is his descendant. Yeah. Necessarily, if you're a descendant of Jacob, you have to be a descendant of J David yeah. on that line. Yeah. So if Jesus was a descendant of Jacob, if Jesus was Jew, he's going to be automatically, a priorily, uh, the, a descendant of Jacob in some kind. Yeah. That's what Jews are. Yes, yes, and I agree with you. And I'm saying uh, 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 Isaac had a brother. Isaac had a brother. And yeah. Isaac's brother had descendants too. And those descendants have been known to be the Arabs. Yeah, so, but he's... That's not, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know who started the argument with you. Yeah. His argument was saying, how do you link that back to the flip... To... to um, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, uh, Abraham or something. No, we... What, uh, so what he was saying is... He was saying to me, well, how do we know that the Prophet Muhammad is a, dis a descendant of, of, of Ishmael? I said, well, it's moving our tradition. Like, it's in this lineage. The Arab, it's known for hundreds of years. It's there when you look at it. Then outside of just the Arabs, because it's one thing, if you claim it, then you go to other people, your cousins, and they say the exact, the exact same thing. And it's within that text, text as well. Jewish people lived in in in, uh, in South in Medina for a very long time. I don't think Jewish I don't think Jewish people gave an account of the Ishmael descendants. Literally two weeks ago, I was watching rabbis discussing this issue because of the Israel and Palestine situation. Mm -hmm. It's 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 axiomatic, you know. It's axiomatic. It's the same way we know, and obviously we have archaeological findings and other things nowadays. We've known that some of the British people were Anglo-Saxon. Yeah, but this is something also that is passed down through. If a historian, when a historian looks at uh, and stuff, they don't just look at archaeology. They look at tapestry. They look at uh, hymns. They look at uh, 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 stories and things that. You I'm know, not sure. I, yeah. I, I don't think he he was denying any of that, but he was just asking for any. Uh, he was asking for evidence because he says like, "What well, says who?" That's what his argument was. But other than that, he, the argument I had with him was that the guy was a Muslim. Like about like two, less than a, a Shia half. Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A month and a half ago, he was a Shia Muslim, and there was something about Islam that attracted him. And before that, he was like atheist or socialist or whatever. So clearly, I don't know. He's, he's told me before that he, he's on a spectrum, right? But I'm not going to say that that um, has negatively infected. In fact, I say it's positively because he's he's very intelligent. So he's really at a high speed, you know. I was trying to have a conversation with him rather than a debate, and he was like pushing me into a debate, and then you came in. But um, yeah, I look, I my my approach with Christianity is very unorthodox in terms of the orthodoxy that ex exists within the park. I have a very unorthodox approach to Christianity. I, I was Christian before, so I might have luggage there. However, I I, I look at Christianity sometimes a bit more favorably, and I'm a, a bit more. Uh, fit, I, I try to be as fair as possible and as objective as possible when I look at Christianity and I don't have this like negative view on Christianity and like even when it comes to ideas of like the Bible or the, the books being corrupted uh, I don't view the Bible or I don't compare the Bible to the Quran because I believe the structures and the history the way it was compiled are two, totally different I believe it's, it's, a, it's a fallacy when people compare usually Muslims compare the, the Quran to the Bible. Like the Bible is something else. It's, it, it functions differently, it's compiled differently, uh, and it, it was compiled, you know, all of these things. So therefore you can't compare the two. So therefore I have a different approach when I, when I look at, at, at the Bible, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I, I really appreciate talking to you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and I do, do apologize if I was brass at certain uh, points. No, 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 it's no problem. Me too, I apologize. Yeah, nice sure. to meet you, Jesus loves Yeah, uh, is that your um, mic? Oh, no, yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. May Allah guide you. I mean, sorry. <sighs> yeah, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in Genesis, the first directly mentions Kedar, son of Ishmael. These are names, sons of Ishmael. I mean, in order. That's what I was trying to tell you, but I didn't want to put him. Yeah. He's there, but in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, told, I told him. I told him. But then, you know, the reason why I didn't say that, because they said, oh, look, you de you're depending on the Bible. But I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said to him, the reference is that. This thing, brothers and sisters, look. What, what I'm trying to teach you guys is this, yeah? When you debate someone, 
the easiest thing that someone can say to you is bring references, as if this is some, some killer, like killer, uh, what's it called, uh, move. Like, oh, the moment you can't produce any references, it's, it's finished, okay? The way history is compiled, the way we understand history, history is not merely a thing that is written in the books. This is not how history functions, okay? There's oral tradition, yeah? I'm not, I'm not necessarily uh, a, a diehard uh, adherence to the uh, uh, historical critical method, okay? That, that's not, I'm sorry, I'm African, okay? That's not how I, we do history uh, entirely, okay? There's oral traditions, then there's traditions from other people, okay, so outside sources, yeah? And there are also axiomatic uh, beliefs, yeah? Now, it is a well-known fact, a very well-known fact, that within the traditions of the Jews, that Ishmael was the brother of Isaac, and that Ishmael had descendants, and that there's a prophecy upon the children of Israel that will be blessed and, and will multiply the lands. This is, this is, it's quite, uh, quite uh, apparent. But I'm going to have to stop now. Uh, yeah, may Allah bless all of you, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. Keep, uh, keep, you know, donating and keep uh, supporting this cause. I love you very much, very much all. Alaikum salam.